Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Gaming Through No Scope. I'm a dickhead with too much screen time. Hello, Pennsylvania. Episode, we'll be talking to you about some of the latest E3 revelations with our own commentary. We'll have Talisker chatting to you about the latest console revelations, and I will be talking to you about some obligatory computer hardware stuff, as well as some of the latest news about the uh, League of Legends and Dota 2 professional scenes. Watch Dogs, since its launch, has had a fairly mixed reception between the people that sort of really enjoyed it, the people that didn't, the people that thought it was hyped up to more than it was actually turned out to be. Amidst the controversy about the alleged graphical features that have been disabled since the E3 preview of Watch Dogs, a group of modders has managed to unlock those features again. Ubisoft has made a statement countering that, saying that they were disabled for a reason, saying that the overall quality of the game was affected. I suppose we'll see how it looks in the end when these features are officially enabled in the next Watch Dogs patch. Sledgehammer Games has claimed that the newest addition to the Call of Duty franchise, Advanced Warfare, will offer more to the game series in terms of multiplayer experience. Whether that will actually manifest itself into anything tangible, we're still to see. Now this could be taken as a move to try and liken the franchise to Titanfall because penis envy and that kind of thing. Well, let us know what you think in the comment section below. In slightly similar news, EA has announced that Battlefield will not become an annualised series such as Call of Duty. Whether there's any substance to this claim or that it will literally just become another diluted shooter, we're still to see when Hardline actually has the shelves. So the blue bald masses have descended down to Los Angeles this year for the annual AAA circle jerk that is E3. And here to help me talk about the news that transpired there is Game Makers on Talisker. Buenos. How are you? <laughs> so yeah, E3 was pretty awesome this year. I can't say I watched a whole lot of it. We had a little bit of coverage for our Facebook page. Just yes. the odd thing that we observed. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of, uh, like you say, a lot of circle jerking. There was a lot of just, you know, developers just getting off on their own ability to make games. But no, a lot of things look really good, like the um, the revamp of Halo. Really? All four Halo games on one disc. 60 frames all, per second. 60 frames per second, 1080p, dedicated servers. Running Surprisingly, all nowhere other than the Xbox One. Xbox One, one yeah, exclusive. But Showing all... paltry sales compared to the PS4 and even the Wii U. Yeah, man, it's strange that the Wii U is selling more, considering it is just a tablet with a screen. Their marketing schemes. Marketing schemes, indeed. So, what are you most excited about? Most excited about? Uh, Assassin's Creed Union. I want to talk a little bit about that. Well, um, I mean, I'd love to talk about it. And I'm really happy about Assassin's Creed Unity, but I'm pissed with Ubisoft. Why are you pissed off with Ubisoft? Because Ubisoft are lazy fuckers, Dan. All right, but this would not have anything to do with the fact that they don't put women in the video games. Uh, no, yeah, uh, in the new game, they say it would take 8,000 skeletal, or I think it would 8,000 skeletal animations in order to add female assassins to the multiplayer co-op campaign aspect of Unity. Whereas the Assassin's Creed 3 dev that works for Naughty Dog now said two days work max. We could also say that you could cut all the work out by maybe not making the female sexualized ass swinging monsters. Yeah, and you could do that. swaggering testosterone ridden dickheads. But it wouldn't be Assassin's Creed. Wouldn't be Assassin's, wouldn't be Assassin's Creed. Creed. What did you like in E3? I certainly liked the new look at Mortal Kombat with Mortal Kombat X. I oh, thought it was yeah. a very organic approach to this, the yeah. new camera system and things like that. I mean, when, mean you're talking about, when you're talking about fighters, there really isn't much room, like elbow room to evolve in that sort of thing. And I think yeah. they handle it perfectly. It flows a lot better as a fighter and it looks fantastic. We also had a quick look at the Hyrule Warriors and the new Zelda yes, game yes. for the Wii U, which is looking a lot like it might be a good game. As you may have picked up on Facebook, if you've already seen us there, the Zelda Scrolls High Room. I think that was a joke, not being a Nintendo game. I didn't get that. <laughs> oh, Jordan, you're missing out on all the niche crap that sells for £2 two weeks after release. Wow, it stays at £40 crap. for the rest of its life. <laughs> Nintendo gaming! Nintendo In other news, the Star Trek game is still shit. No, I Nothing changed there. Nothing changed there. Oh, oh, Rainbow Six Siege. Never been a fan of Rainbow Six games. Tom Clancy games. I was more a fan of his kind of Splinter Cell. I've not touched it since Vegas myself. Have you not touched it since Vegas? Well, Vegas wasn't even that great a game itself. But Siege looks really clever. It's, as far as we can tell, it's four-on-four -four multiplayer. Uh, with the, an APC, you have to either protect 
or hold hostage, or like rescue or hold hostage. It's an escort mission. It is technically it's technically an escort mission, yeah, but it it seems quite dynamic because the police get involved as well. You have to plan your entry points into the building. It looks quite intelligent. It's PD the heist. Dude, stop being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a good game. Let Ubi have one moment. Ubi has had too many moments. That's my point. Yeah. You cannot simply exist as a game company, threaten to charge your people for playing online despite they're already being charged by Microsoft, and then continue to make games as if people like them. It doesn't work like they that. They just need to make they another Prince of Persia. That. That's what we need. They just need to remaster Sands of Time. They just need to let us suck their dick. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. They don't deserve to have their dick sucked, but we'll I'm suck sorry, it again. To be honest, the best thing about this play is Aisha Tyler, because she's fucking hilarious. She's the host, Dad. I want to stop talking about Ubisoft now. I'll go back to the closet. <laughs> also from E3, print perhaps one of the most hotly anticipated appearances for a couple of years, Valve has shown its face, and I think contrary to what we were all expecting, they showed us hats. Hats. At E3. Where I think we were expecting another sort of three at E3. Of course nothing has been confirmed, but I would reckon anything that comes out at this point Suffix 3 cannot possibly live up to anything that the internet has contorted it to be in the perpetual masturbatory fantasies. Except possibly Crackdown 3 is a 3. Let's not talk about your masturbatory fantasies. <laughs> Moving on to hardware where I come into my strengths. We are looking at the new Intel X99 chipset. The first chipset to herald the DDR4 memory format. What can we expect from that? So far we have seen a couple of showcases at Computech where Adata was showing off their modules who come in at about 2133, that's 2133 megahertz for the stock memory clock from DDR4 modules. It's exciting stuff, but the price tag will not be something to scoff at. Now, in the game of graphics cards, you either win or create shit drivers. And in the latest of the sort of stalemate that's been going on between NVIDIA and AMD, we have found out that, it's just a hint at the moment, but NVIDIA will be releasing their GTX 870 and 880 graphics cards somewhere in their quarter four this year. Something to be excited about, but again, don't hope to spend any less than £400. Now, how can we talk about new graphics cards and ignore 4K? 4K, with its inception earlier this year, has looked like a far-off concept for quite a lot of gamers as they stand. However, the panels are coming down in price, with the TN panels now being acquirable at roughly £450 for the 27-inch experience. It's uh, certainly affordable for somebody who has a lot to spend on their computers, but what kind of setup would you require to run one of those things? Currently, we're looking at about three of AMD's R9280Xs, two of NVIDIA's 780Ti's, or two of the AMD Radeon 290X cards. These would run most games at a comfortable 60 frames per second, or at least something that won't look like a slideshow. Don't spend any less than a thousand pounds on the graphical aspect of this build, otherwise you certainly will not be satisfied. Now imagine that 4K screen has like that fresh rate and all that for gaming anyway. They, they buffed up the panels actually, you get 60Hz right. on them now. They started off with 30Hz uh, for 2 days of working with the pieces. Sorry, um. <laughs> all the hurts? It certainly hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of interesting stuff happening on Intel's roadmap. However, the Devil's Canyon CPUs are coming out and they're looking to be all they promised to be. However, you can notice in both Intel and AMD's roadmap, what with the Haswell E's looking to reduce power consumption and TDP wattage, and both AMD going hard in the paint when it comes to the A series processors, the APU says, you can see that a lot of focus is being put into mobile gaming. Now, mobile gaming, sort of in the last four years or so, has been a very expensive field where they either spend about a thousand pounds on a laptop or you're not going to get a whole lot for your money in terms of gaming. However, with the inception of the new APUs and Intel's new integrated graphics, we can expect to see affordable gaming at better frame rates from upwards of £400. When we're talking about gaming laptops, there's a couple things you need to look out for, even more so than the obligatory hard drive space, RAM amount and processor, which is that a lot of the integrated graphics, quite opposite to what I just said, is actually not too good for gaming. You're going to want dedicated graphics. Dedicated graphics in the form of anything not upwards from a GTX 750M or I would say even one of AMD's APUs would do the job. To be fair, no, 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 it's all lost my train of thought there. Talking about our mobile favourites, League of Legends and Dota 2. Bing. In honour of the Brazil 2014 World Cup, League of Legends has spat out some World Cup skins for their so randomly selected champions, really. Um, my favourite, of course, being Goalkeeper Maokai. Yeah. In their quest to devalue old skins, they have made the uh, 2010 World Cup skins available again, in addition to their new skins. 
I bought them because I didn't play League of Legends in 2010. I'm not ashamed to admit it. In Dota 2 news, the Dota 2 compendium has reached almost 10 million US dollars. Siesta. I'm not sure about a lot of it, and in fact, it seems a bit obligatory to me, but I'm just a filthy League of Legends casual. Nothing to add. Going back to what I know about, the League of Legends Karthus visual update is looking fantastic, with the lead singer of Dragon Force actually having exclusively voiced his Pentacle skin. Talking about that, the Pentacle album is actually fucking fantastic. I really... I suggest you listen to it. Link it below. As well as a Dota 2 compendium. But don't perpetuate Dota. <laughs> yeah. At this point in the championship series, so far SKR is the top, followed by Fnatic for the EU West segment, and in a nail-biting turn of events have seen TSM usurped by Cloud9. Interesting stuff, still going on, you should watch it on LOL Esports. I have sufficiently talked to you off about shit you don't care about, so here is now GameMaker's Talisker to talk to you about consoles, you filthy peasant. Hello, peasantry! Off to the closet with you. So guys, I don't um, want the closet. I don't care if you don't want the closet. Don't Go put me in the closet. Stand in the pool. Ah, it smells. Yes, it does smell. I've been then there all day. Uh, so guys, console news. The PS4 is still the PS4. It's outselling everything. So is the Wii U, the Xbox One. Not doing great. Don't know why. Great console. You should buy one. <laughs> so with the Xbox One, Microsoft have announced that they are going to be cutting the Kinect. You're going to be able to buy it without the Kinect. But why would you voice control? But seriously though. What they're doing with the Kinect is they're updating it so that when you're not using it, the game doesn't require it. It goes into a sleep mode, so you get all your processing power. All of the processing power. Which is going to bring it up to power specs with the PS4, finally. Which is a bit of a shame, because we haven't had it thus far, and our games have looked pretty great. So, look out, Sony. Look out. That's it. That's my segment. Come back on. <laughs> Buy an Xbox One. No, it's an Apple keynote. <laughs> Turn on this. <laughs> No, I will give anybody who cannot guess what system he bought £10. <laughs> if you're still watching currently, it means you're either the single most patient human being on the planet, asleep, very drunk, or high, in love with us. comatose, paraplegic, quadriplegic, or another way incapacitated from switching this video off, so I will now go into ramble a little bit. Not now, mamacita Peppy is working. Aww. See us next time on Game Aether No Scope, where we will be talking about whatever happens next time we get around to doing this thing. It's been Dan, and it has also been... Tally Scare? We'll see you next time. The long and Adios. Don't touch me. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3 confirmed! That's the end of the news. <laughs> this is the end of the news! If you have... No, you just... Now for German Techno! Oh! <laughs> And it's just boots, 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 boots. <laughs> if you would like to see me savaged by Dota 2 fanatics, click here. Yeah, clap. Got a clap. Fuck <laughs> 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 in my face.